you said once he has a big heart. Uh, what do you mean by saying that? Like, what did you see on him that you say that? Most big men are not tough guys. They haven't had a lot of adversity in life. Smaller guys are usually tougher because they've had to fight harder. They are, they're more like dogs. Whereas the bigger guys, they're used to the big strong guy like a bear. They're, but the, the minute they start to lose or they get uncomfortable, they usually uh, go away from adversity. And so he's one that's an exception. He's able to uh, come back in fights. I've seen many fights where he's been hurt in the beginning of the fight, he's losing the fight, but he uh, doesn't. Re he refuses to quit. A good example, um, you know, in Strike Force, you saw the Mike Kyle fight. Mike Kyle caught him with punches, almost knocked him out. He lost the first round very badly. In the second round, he comes back, puts him on the cage, takes him down and pounds him out and wins. Uh, came out in that third round with a lot of other heavyweights don't have the heart that uh, Bigfoot has, where they would have just gone through the motion. And he came out ferocious and now it wouldn't be denied and was able to win. So that what makes him a scary guy is... Even if you're winning the fight, I can go out there on the 22nd and let's say I'm winning all four rounds, I'm beating him up bad. That fifth round, he's still dangerous. You can never ever say that Bigfoot's out. He's still gonna come after you. And actually, I feel that he gets stronger as the fight goes on. How do you compare the jiu-jitsu of both of you? Statistically speaking, obviously the, I'm a better submission artist. Um, uh, Bigfoot uh, has had a lot of fights also in the UFC, but very few submissions. Um, he hasn't submitted anybody in the UFC that I'm aware of. The facts kind of speak and they weigh in my favor that I am better at submissions than he is. So do you expect to have this fight on the ground? Um, I expect to try to get it there, but I know he's working with a lot of wrestlers. So I feel that he, uh, he already realizes that my submission ability is very uh, high level. So I think he wants to keep it on his feet and avoid the submissions, especially because I'm American, down in Brazil. It might not look too good if I submit him with jiu-jitsu. It kind of adds a little bit of uh, salt to the wound. So I feel that uh, he feels that his best weapon are his hands. He hits extremely hard. He has a long arm. Uh, he has very good discipline in his boxing. His hands are always uh, up in a very good place. So if he had to bet, if we fought each other 10 times and he won 10 different ways, he most likely would win on his feet more often. So why not keep the fight there? Talking about Brazil, uh, you were just there in 2014. What did you, like, how did you like it? Brazil, the food, the fans? I love Brazil. I think, uh, you know, it's actually, uh, you know, it's actually probably be a little bit of a sad moment that on the 22nd when I'm competing, I'm obviously going to be the bad guy on that night. I feel that if I was on this card fighting another American, that I would actually be uh, very much favored and very much welcomed as the home field advantage guy. It's sad that I have to fight a Brazilian in Brazil, but I'm very happy to be fighting in Brazil because it's actually a strong influence on my. Um, my martial arts background. I loved submissions, obviously, jiu-jitsu, biggest influence is Brazil, and so um, I have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of connections there.